335 for diesel in Florida if you guys ever want to know. Craig, your Duramax is over there. Oh, <laughs> What's up guys, What the Duck back again. Uh, today won't be a video in the Cummins. This won't really be a video at all. I just want to say Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve in Florida. We're out here in you know shorts and a t-shirt because we're out here in the Florida desert and it's like 70 degrees in Florida. He's from Ohio, so he's not used to it. It's usually snowing up there right about now. It is snowing up there right now, isn't it? I think so. Think so? But we're out here on the beach right now in Navarre. We're taking a video for his channel for his stack. We installed a stack on his truck uh, last night. We started on about three o'clock. We bought it two nights ago off Craigslist. It's an eight inch by 36. And the hardest part of the entire installation was actually, he has a four inch, what exhaust was this, MBRP? Yeah. He had a four inch straight pipe turbo back from the M or MBRP and went straight over the axle and came out to that octagon tip. I don't know if you guys see in the old videos. But the hardest part was actually cutting this off because there was a pipe inside of another one and when we cut it, it was actually stuck inside the pipe. I don't know if I explained that really well but uh we, that was the hardest part it took us like an hour or so just to get that pipe off but once we got the pipe off it was just a quick and easy install and uh just elbow up <clears throat> obviously we cut the hole in the bed but in his video we'll show it had it was like kind of a was there shit already on it already hadn't even had it for 24 hours and just washed the truck too <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stack life. I like it. I don't <clears throat> care. I just want to There you go. But uh in his video we'll show there was like when we bought it it was used stack obviously we got it off Craigslist. We stole it pretty much, I mean for what it's worth. But uh it had like burnt plastic on the bottom, so my opinion is the guy probably had bags floating around in the back of his Duramax and bags just stuck to it and it melted to it. So we grinded it all off last night, it took us about like thirty minutes to grind that off. Painted it with the VHT flame proof, like it's just what black paint it's like yeah. what 1200 black degrees exhaust header paint black it's exhaust header paint is the temperature on it. but yeah in his video we'll show that uh the installation on that and a couple of uh, exhausts of him just flying by so we're out here on the beach doing right now we just got a little couple drive-by shots but in this video i want to ask you guys your opinion ever since i put these wheels and tires on here i have not liked my six inch tip that i have out the back it's a four inch turbo back exhaust with a six inch uh, black tip and it just doesn't look well you know my old tires used to stick out a little bit more and the tip looked good now i just feel like it's too big since the tires don't stick out as far and it's just one of those weird things i have with me and uh so i think probably not an eight inch like he has but maybe a seven inch about the same spot like coming up right here so basically in this video the guys that own second gens and if you have a stack on your second gen or know anybody with a second gen if you guys can give me your opinion on running a stack on a second gen obviously i rode in his truck and his actually the drone doesn't sound bad at all in your truck nah. like right on the highway and stuff i mean obviously we've only had it on there for less than 24 hours so we haven't had that much experience with it but just riding it obviously his is a crew cab and mine is an extended cab so mine would sound a little bit different with the stack being closer but with you guys that do have a second gen with a stack preferably be a uh, seven inch i just want to do one single one uh, give me your opinions on them if it's worth it this is kind of a, i mean it is my daily driver i don't have another truck but i'm not digging the tip anymore i want to change it up i don't want to do a dump style because i've had a dump before so i didn't really like it i want to change it up i've always wanted a truck with a stack what are you doing <laughs> You're looking at my exhaust yeah. i can put it up right there oh yeah because yeah, my tank's on the other easier. side oh yeah but uh like i said i just want to get you guys' opinion on it <clears throat> man the beach is actually pretty crowded today Maybe not. look how emerald green. color green it is we brought the drone now but we don't have enough time to get some drone shots and my truck's dirty too you can see it inside the fender well as it always is like I said, if you guys have a second gen and you have a stack, give me your opinions on it. If you can, give me brands. I know SoFlo makes a stack. Uh, Mopar Daryl One, what's this company called? Far From Stock. Far From Stock, they make a stack. Um, there's also, I forget. It's I like 808 deep, like Ocean Diesel, I think, makes a stick, yeah, stack. Yeah, does, or something like that. They have sweet stacks, but. Uh, yeah, but I want a stack that has actual, that grate inside of it, because so, I know you and Skylar and all you douchebags will throw stuff in my stack. So I, I want to. I wouldn't throw anything on yours, something, but... I threw something in my stack. That ball or whatever? Yeah. It was like... <laughs> oh, they're going to steal your Duramax. They're still in your Duramax. They're Don't... Oh, they're always getting the Duramax. Look at them. 
but uh like i said guys not really a video on the comments today i just wanted this is really, blah, really just a video showing off that he got a stack uh like i said if you want to see that video i'll try to put his video up before mine so i can put the link in the description if not uh, his channel is one dirty olaf so you can go check him out this is pretty much gonna be all duramax videos mine's on the comments but i just wanted to get you guys opinion so if it's a good thing bad thing show me the positives the negatives of having a stack i think the positives is it looks so much better with a stack in my opinion but i know the negative is the drone on the highway and all that hoopla but yeah man other than that what do you guys think how often do you ride on the highway pretty much i mean we do a lot yeah but we'd all look good with stacks we would all look good with stacks, but you gotta think mine's closer than yours is. And mine's a Looks 99, and yours is what, a 06? Looks or comfort? They're good question. Already, you said rides decently bad. I mean, I mean, it's the second gen. The steering already sucks on it. Might as well put a stack on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, props to him. It looks so much better, in my opinion, with the stack on it. But yeah, guys. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Merry Christmas if I don't post a video tomorrow. Ooh, now think about it. I am doing a video this coming week. I'm off this entire week. Sorry, the wind's kind of bad. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But I am doing a video on my truck this week. It's going to be like a transformation, like timeline video because I bought the truck completely bone stock. So I figured why I had the time to make a video. I have all pictures and videos of me uh, just working on a truck throughout ownership of this truck. So I'll probably post it maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, but be on the lookout for that video and you guys have a nice day.